Hey viewers, it's Tuesday on The Pagan Perspective. This is week 44 and the topic is Midsummer. Midsummer goes by a couple names. The first being Midsummer, well, the first in my book. You could also just call it the Summer Solstice or it's also called Litha. It's called Midsummer because Midsummer is sort of like the halfway point of the harvest period. In the old calendar, it was the middle of what they considered summer. But the way we use it now, we still call it midsummer even though it's technically the first day of what we consider summer. And it's the day that Gemini turns to Cancer in the Wheel of the Zodiac. It's also the day that there it's the longest day of um, daylight hours, the most daylight hours. And Wiccans consider that to represent being the height of the god's power and it's it's the last day that he's most powerful and once again the Oak and Holly Kings battle and this time the Holly King wins and he rules until Yule. For Wiccans at least, excuse me, there's bugs everywhere, uh, Midsummer is all about celebrating the strength and power of the sun and all of the bounty that it's given us in gardening wise and things like that throughout the year. The actual day is ruled by the moon and that's why some people call it Litha, because Litha means moon. So I think it's kind of strange that uh, some of us call it something that means moon, and it's ruled by the moon, and yet we sort of use this day to celebrate the sun. Uh, so it's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyone who's familiar with Shakespeare knows that he wrote a play called Midsummer Night's Dream, and that play is about, essentially, Puck, the fairy, messes everything up for all of the lovers and he makes them fall in love with the wrong person and he at first like I think he thinks he's doing some good and then it's not it's not so great and but he enjoys it he enjoys the mix-ups and likes watching them fumble all over each other it's fun for him he's a trickster that play actually has a lot to do with the lore of especially Midsummer's Eve because Midsummer's Eve is the day that people consider fairies being a lot closer to the human realm. It's a good time to work with fairies, and it's also a time when you need to be careful of those tricky fairies and sprites and things like that, because they will lead you astray if you're wandering out in the woods. Shakespeare, again, they try to play tricks and just do terrible little things, but it's all in good fun for them, but you never really know. There are some legends about fairies or sprites or things like that that aren't so much all in good fun, it's more like they could kill you if they touch you, um, stuff like that, you know, old Celtic or Welsh, things like that, tales. Oh my god, I'm getting eaten up by bugs out here, but I wanted to be outside, so whatever. So, you know, beware of, beware of the tricky ones and <laughs> stay safe. Some people asked me on my personal channel what I would be doing for Midsummer so they could have some ideas. They've never celebrated it before, etc. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this year because I don't plan things that far ahead because I never know what's going to happen. I mean, I always, we always have a bonfire on Midsummer. It's another big bale fire holiday, leaping over the bonfire is another usual practice, and uh, burning the wicker man. And we've never actually made a wicker man to burn, so maybe I would like to do that this year if we could, if I could talk to my mom and, you know, plan it a week ahead. Um, Midsummer is a week from today. It's the 21st. Well, it's the 21st is the summer solstice but some people always celebrate Midsummer on June 24th, no matter what day the actual solstice falls on, but the solstice is on the 21st, so that's when I will try to celebrate it. So I'll be doing another video that day, but I would like to make a wicker man this year if we can, and you put your wishes inside the wicker man, and then as you burn it, the smoke goes up and takes your requests to the universe, to the heavens, whatever you want to consider it. And so I would like to do that, but we always do a bonfire. I think a couple years ago, Midsummer was the one where my mom actually did like a pretty full ritual with me and we came out and actually did a circle and she read invocations and stuff like that. Anyway, so before for Midsummer, my mom has done a ritual with me. I don't know if we'll do that again. I don't know if she's working. I will be done with my show by next week, so I won't have rehearsal. It just depends on what we have time for. And then someone else asked me, you know, whatever I end up doing, will I film what I can of it and post that on YouTube, and I don't know. I don't know. Um, I haven't done, like, I've never actually filmed me doing something. I've filmed examples of this is how I would do it, but I never actually do any of my ritual or magic 
um, on camera. I don't know how I feel about that. If it's something like it's just a bonfire and we do a drum circle, yeah, I'll do that. I do that all the time. I always record those. But as for actual spellcraft or ritual or anything, I don't like filming the actual thing. I film examples, but that's it. Um, so I don't know about that. And the last thing that I want to say before I go, because this is already really late, it's after it's after 7 p.m. and I need to get this up, so I wanted to make this pretty short so I don't have to edit a lot. So the last thing I want to show you is the Midsummer card from my Fairy Ring Oracle deck. And the Oracle that I have has four suits for each of the four seasons, and then it has Fairy Festival cards. This is Midsummer, and we have fairies everywhere of course. This one up in the corner, I know you can't see it very well, I'm sorry, but uh, this one up here is supposed to be the Robin Goodfellow type character, and so he's a tricksy one. And then over here we have sort of a balladeer just playing music for them, and they describe this image as uh, the fairy island there in the back looks closer to the shore than it does in some of the other festival cards because midsummer is a time when it's easier to contact fairies and it's easier for humans to make that leap over to the fairy realm. So this video is of course longer than I thought it was going to be so I'm gonna end it now and I will see you guys next week. Thank you very much for suggesting all these topics. We've got a ton, a ton of topics lined up. I don't even know how we're gonna get through all of this but thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching and check out my personal channel again. I'm over 1,000 subs now, you guys. Isn't that crazy? So I've redone some stuff on my personal channel. I made like a top five of my uploads that I think everyone should see if they haven't, and a top six favorites, so you know what are my favorite videos on YouTube. And uh, I've made a couple more comprehensive playlists and things like that. So my channel is super viewer friendly right now. You should go check it out. Okay, yeah. I'll see you later. Blessed be.